as a photographer, you can sometimes get stuck in a bit of a rut. And it's often really useful to get inspiration from other photographers, how they see their subjects, how they capture them, and even how they edit them. Hello, I'm Rod Lawton, and this is a video for amateur photographer on Adobe Lightroom's community feature. I've posted a lot of photo editing videos on the Amateur Photographer channel, but of course I have my own approach to editing and my own style of photography. What if you want to get inspiration and editing ideas from a much wider photographic community? Well, that's exactly what you get with the Lightroom community panel in Adobe Lightroom. Here you can scroll through a huge variety of photographs from other Lightroom users and see just how they achieve their particular results. In some cases, you can even remix other people's photographs using your own adjustments or even download a preset based on their edits, which you can apply to your own images. But let's just be clear about which version of Lightroom we're talking about, because this can get confusing. Most photographers will probably be familiar with Lightroom Classic, which is used to browse and edit photos on your computer. However, Adobe does make another version, which was originally called Lightroom CC and introduced as a very different web-based alternative where all your images are stored in the cloud and can be viewed or edited on any device. Adobe now refers to this version simply as Lightroom rather than Lightroom CC, so it has got more confusing. It is easy to slip into the habit of calling Lightroom Classic Lightroom. If that's the only version you've ever used or are interested in, that's actually wrong. You should always call Lightroom Classic by its full name to avoid this confusion. The newer web-based Lightroom has the same editing tools, but a very different workflow and organizational system. It also has a lot more potential for image sharing and discovery. Now, Lightroom only works with images stored in the cloud by Adobe's Creative Cloud service. That's one of its key differences. This does mean you'll probably need the add-on one terabyte storage option at some point, because the standard 20 gigabytes of space you get with a regular photography plan subscription will soon fill up. Though not necessarily. One workaround is to synchronize image collections from Lightroom Classic. This will save smaller, smart previews to the cloud, which don't take up any space, but are still big enough to edit and share. Or you can use the local tab in Lightroom to browse the folders on your computer and then choose which individual images or folders you want uploaded to the cloud. You'll still use up your standard storage soon enough, but at least you can be more selective. Either way, it's definitely worth trying out Lightroom to see what it can do. And you get both Lightroom and Lightroom Classic with an Adobe Photography Plan subscription, so it won't cost you a thing. So let's get back to Lightroom's community panel and see what it offers. It has things in common with social channels like Instagram, where you can like photos, follow your favorite creators and upload images of your own. Here, for example, I'm scrolling through the For You section, which shows me new pictures daily based on what I've looked at and liked before. The Featured section shows images with edits that I can examine and using toggles at the top of the window, I can show only remixables or images with downloadable presets. When you upload a photo of your own, you can choose whether they can be remixed by other users or if your edits can be downloaded as a preset, and I'll get to that shortly. If you select an image, you can see what adjustments were made to achieve that effect in the right sidebar. And if you think you can see another approach or an effect you would like to try, you can hit the remix button to make adjustments of your own. Underneath an image, you may see a whole bunch of alternative remixes made by other users. If you especially like the look that a photographer has achieved, you can often download their edits as a preset that you can use for your own work. If you click the Save as Preset button, 
it will be saved to your custom presets just like any other. And one nice touch is that the default name for the downloaded preset automatically credits the Lightroom community member who created it. There really is a huge amount of inspiration to be found in the Lightroom community, and if you want to narrow it down a little to your own specific interests, you can use the drop down subject matter menu at the top of the window to pick a category or genre and add it to Lightroom's search box. While you're browsing other photographers' work, you can click the button underneath to add a like, and you can also see how many other users' remixes have been tried out on the image. And if you like that photographer style, you can click on their name to see more of their work, and then click the follow button top right if you like it. So the Lightroom community is just like a social channel specifically for Lightroom users. Then I guess the next question is, how do you join in and submit your own photos and editing work? This is really easy. You open up your image and do any editing work that you need to do, then click the share button, top right. In the drop down menu, you choose share to community. The sidebar now shows your sharing options, where you need to choose a title for your image and an optional description. I'll just say something about the edits I've applied. Lower down you can choose one or more categories. You have to choose at least one. And below that you have toggles for whether or not you want other community members to be able to remix your images or download your edits as a preset. You'll see that you automatically have copyright over any image you upload, and this will persist even if other members remix your work. Adobe is pretty hot on protecting the property rights of its community members. So that was a pretty quick tour of the Lightroom community. There's really not very much to learn about how to submit images, remix edits, or follow other photographers, but there's a whole lot you can potentially learn from the other photographers who use it. That's it for this video then. Thanks for watching and see you next time.